Here's our background of the study according to Dennis O. Dumrique and Jennifer G. Castillo. This study was conducted to assess and find out the impact of online gaming to academic performance in social behavior in the students of Polytechnic University of the Philippines Laboratory High School. Furthermore, this study sought answer on the significant relationship between playing online games and academic performance in social behavior of the students. Internet as a source of information plays an important role in developing one's mind and life experience by create, creating productive works on school, offices, and even at home. The fact that people live in an informative lifestyle where everything is updated, internet became one of the necessities of human beings regardless of age or sex in today's society. The researchers felt that they need to determine the effects of playing Mobile Legends towards the students of academic performance. Statement of the problem, the study aims to determine the effects of Mobile Legends towards the academic performance of the grade 12 TVL ICT Certified A students of Pinma University of Pangasinan. Especially, it seeks to answer the following questions. Age, gender, how many hours they spent playing Mobile Legends, what is the academic performance of the respondents? Is there a significant effect of mobile games towards the academic performance of the grade 12 TVL ICT Sir 5A students of Pima University of Pangasinan? Hypothesis testing. In relation to the foregoing problem, the study will test the hypothesis in its now from 0.5 level of significance. On the null hypothesis, there is no significant effect of playing Mobile Legends towards the academic performance of senior high school students of Finma University of Pangasinan. Conceptual Framework The independent variable is the student's time in playing Mobile Legends. The dependent variable is towards the academic performance of grade 12 students of Finma University of Pangasinan. Scope and Delimitation The study focuses on the effect of playing Mobile Legends towards the academic performance of Grade 12 TVL ICT 05A of Finma University of Pangasinan. The said respondents were 46, which is Mobile Legends because it is commonly issues for teenagers. Significance of the study This study will help the students to have an insight on the impact of playing Mobile Legends towards their academic performance. This research study will be beneficial to the following Mobile Legend players, students, parents, administrator, community, teachers, researcher, and future researchers. For better clarification of the terms used in this study are defined operationally and conceptually. These are the terms that we define. Multiplayer Unique Addiction Critical Strategy and Compulsive This chapter represents a review of some related literature and studies which were directly related to the study and provided information. Moreover, the literature and the studies contained herein help the researcher in the interpretation of the finding of the research. Related Literature on Mobile Legend Forum Sunarto 2010 stated that the online game phenomena occur in almost all parts of the world. This qualitative research used as a type of demonology in approach with a constructive paradigm. On Academic Performance Forum any educational institute students are most important assets. Universities and colleges have no value without students. The academic performance of students has gained significant attention in the past researchers. According to Nico Media Research 2017, the projected number of the online gamers in the Philippines rose from 21 million in 2012 to 28.72 million in 2014. Rivera 2007 investigated the relationship of the level of academic performance. Dr. 2012 stated that students who regularly spend time playing Mobile Legends are developing analytical and social problem-solving skills that can also help them in their social life. 
Mobile Legends Local. Instead of playing Larong Pinoy games that children expected to play, they are seen in the internet cafes or at home playing Mobile Legends. Nowadays, kids do not engage outdoor activities as much as older generations do, but still, their social skills are improving when they playing the Mobile Legends. According to Olivera Sensapio, year 2007, several studies are conducted to find out the relationship between the technological adv advancement, specifically the computer and computer games and school performances. Methodology This chapter covers the detailed explanation of methodology used to make this research smoothly and complete accordingly. This chapter explains how the necessary data and information of research objective and questions must be collected, presented, and analyzed. Research design. The researchers use quantitative and correlational design under quantitative method of research to determine the effects and relationship between playing mobile legends to the academic performance of grade 12 PBL ICT 5A students of Pinma University of Pangasinan. Local of the study. The study was conducted in Pinma University of Pangasinan, Aureliano Street, Dagupan City. Pinma University of Pangasinan is a private basic tertiary educational institution and member of Pinma Education Network. Respondents of the study. The respondents of the study were the grade 12 PBL ICT 05A students of Pinma University of Pangasinan. The set section has a total of 50 students and when the researchers used the equation on how to get the sample size of respondents, the total was 46. Data gathering instrument. For this study, a survey rating scale or questionnaire was used to gather the respondents feedback. The survey questionnaire was composed of three parts. Data gathering procedure. To conduct the study, the researchers formulated the title with the help of their research advisor. For the level of effects of Mobile Legends to the grade 12 students' academic performance, the average rated game was utilized. The researchers decided to make use of it because it is also effective in summarizing a mass amount of numbers. To answer the problem number four, testing hypothesis, the researchers used the person R or the correlation coefficient. This chapter presents the relevant and substantial data which are presented, analyzed, and interpreted in the context of problems posited in this show. The upper part of the first table above depicts the frequency distribution of the male and female respondents of the research rate. A total of 28% of female and 72% of a male. The middle part of the first table shows the frequency distribution of the range of age of the respondents. 0% female and 0% male at the age of 14 to 15. 41.3 male and 17.4 female respondents are at the age of 16 and 17. 8.43 male and 6.52 females respondents are at age of 18 to 19. 0% male and 4.35 female respondents are at age of 20 and above. Academic performance of the respondents, this section presents the academic performance. Exposure of online gaming among the respondents. This section presents the exposure to online gaming to 46 respondents based on range of our playing Mobile Legends. The table 3 shows the distribution of number of hours to the exposure to Mobile Legends for TBL ICT respondents. It shows that 54% of the respondents are exposed to Mobile Legends for 1 to 2 hours, 22% for 3 to 5 hours, 4% for 6 to 8 hours, and 20% for 8 hours and above. Significant relationship between playing Mobile Legend and academic performance of the respondent. This section presents the relationship between playing Mobile Legend and academic performance of the respondent. The table 4 shows the computed value of person R is negative 0 0.271, which means that the two variables had weak correlation. Therefore, the researcher rejected the null hypothesis. This chapter represents summary of findings, conclusion based on findings, and the recommendation drawn from the conclusion. 
This study's main problem is about the effects of playing Mobile Legends toward the academic performance of the students in Finma University of Pangasinan. The sample included 46 grade 12 TVL ICT strand from Section 5A. The researcher utilized to compute the frequency distribution, average weighted mean, and the person R value to analyze the collected data. On the profile of the respondents, mostly of them were male and 16 to 17 years of age. 33 of them were male and 13 of them were female. On the academic performance of the respondents, the computed average weighted mean was 4.99 which has transmitted description of very high level of academic performance. On the exposure of the respondents, Mostly of them was exposed about 1 to 2 hours per day. The significant relationship between playing Mobile Legends and academic performance of the respondents, the computed value of person R was negative 0.271 which had weak correlational, therefore the researcher rejected the null hypothesis. Conclusions. This is based on the findings of the study. The following conclusions are Males are more inclined in playing Mobile Legends because they have more free time for entertainment. Students' time in playing Mobile Legends gives them a quality time to socialize with friends, and it also improves their socialization skills every time when they meet new friends through online gaming. The parents should guide and observe their children's action. They must give limitations to their child in playing mobile games and they should talk about the proper time allotment in playing mobile games. The student who plays Mobile Legend must know the limitations and consequences in playing mobile games. The teachers should teach their students that overplaying Mobile Legends can affect their academic performances. As a teacher, they should be a good role model for them. The future researchers recommend to conduct the same study to validate, verify, affirm, and to negate the findings and results of this study. For me, my motivation for this study is ourself because I believe we can do something about those students that are addicted to those mobile games and also we can help them to prevent and limit every single thing that they do. The scope of our study are the grade 12 TVL ICT 5A students in Finma University of Pangasinan school year 2019 to 2020. Our research questions are very interesting because rampant in our society, especially in our generations today, were prone or addicted to mobile legends. The two most important sources that we used to our research study were Google Scholar and Academia de Edu. Why? Because it helped us to find our research, some related study and related literature, and especially our background of study. The research methodology we used was quantitative method. Why? Because it is required for us to use it. Frequency distribution and percentage was used in order to answer the number one question, determining the highest percentage of cases collected, and the following profile variable. The measurement instrument that we used in our research was the survey questionnaire. This is our findings. Profile of the respondents, academic performance of the respondents, the exposure of playing Mobile Legends among the respondents, and the significant relationship between playing Mobile Legends and academic performance of the respondents. The original about our work is that our survey questionnaires. Why? Because we are the one who made it. For us, all the parts of our research are strong. Why? Because we believe and confident that our research was conducted well. We recommend our research to the following. Teachers, students, parents, and future researchers. The limitation of our study is that the time. Why? Because our time and the time of our respondent is different. The importance of our study is that we show the every gamer that even though they have their activities or hobbies, they can still manage their time and focus to their studies and have a better academic performance. We would like to change to another setting but the same title to see if the answer is accurate from the previous study and to know the other possible effect of Mobile Legends to the students. 
The only thing that I can advise for myself if I go back to the first part of my research is that to prepare myself to manage my time and to focus my study. To focus on our research in order to us to finish our study.